Welcome back. In this step, we'll take an in-depth look at auto-wiring. Sort algorithm is a dependency of binary search IMPL. So what we do? We put an at auto-wired annotation on top of the sort algorithm. And the sort algorithm would get auto-wired into the binary search IMPL, right? But it's not as simple as that because sort algorithm is a interface. What happens is now we are looking at the implementations of this interface because this is not a, if it was a class, I can directly look for that specific instances of the class. But sort algorithm is actually an interface. So what we do is look for implementations. We'll find two implementations, bubble sort algorithm and quick sort algorithm. And both of them have at component present on them. But the one which will be auto wired is bubble sort because we have an at primary on it. The quick sort, there is no at primary on it at all. So the one which will be auto wired in is the bubble sort algorithm. It has at primary on it. What I'll do is I'll remove at primary. What would happen now? Let's run the application and try and check it. So swing in five steps application, right click, run as Java application. It says application failed to start. We saw this in the debugging step. Because there are two implementations of sort algorithm available in the component scan bubble sort algorithm and quick sort algorithm it's failing let's now think about what are the alternatives that are present to solve this problem and by this we will try and understand auto wiring in depth one of the options that you have is you can do auto wiring by name so here we are using auto wiring by type we're using sort algorithm and looking at the implementations of the sort algorithm interface, but we have found two. So when there are two, then to further simplify it, you can actually use auto wiring by name. So if I want to use bubble sort algorithm, then I can say bubble sort algorithm in here. I'm renaming it all shift R or you can say right click refactor rename. So now instead of sort algorithm, this is called bubble sort algorithm. And if I run it, right click run as oops i should run the application okay now you would see that it's using the bubble sort algorithm here the auto wiring is happening by a combination right it's using the type as well as the name of this particular thing the advantage of this way of auto wiring is i'm not changing the algorithms at all so i'm not putting add primary on either of this wherever we are using it we can decide which one to use. So if there is another component where I want to use the quick sort algorithm, in there, I can rename the variable as quick sort algorithm. This is approach number one. Here we are using the name of the variable, the name of the instance variable to solve the conflict. The conflict which happens when you have more than two matches available for a specific auto wiring thing. The other approach we already looked at is to use the add primary, right? The second approach we looked at already. Just add add primary in and we can quickly run this. This could be called sort algorithm, anything you'd want to call it. And now I'll run this again. Now you can see that it's using the bubble sort algorithm. Why is it using the bubble sort algorithm? Because the bubble sort algorithm is the primary one right now. Now, if I put add primary on both of these at the same time, what would happen? So now quick sort and bubble sort, both of them I've declared as add primary. Obviously, it throws an exception. It says I cannot find a primary bean among the components because two of them are declared as primary beans. Now, let's remove the primary from quick sort algorithm. So the only primary which is present right now is bubble sort algorithm. However, I would rename this to quick sort algorithm. So we are seeing which one takes precedence, whether a name takes precedence or the primary takes precedence. Let's run this. So this is quick sort algorithm. So if it auto wiring here takes by name, then this should get quick sort algorithm. If it happens by type, we should get bubble sort algorithm. Let's see what happens. You can see that it's bubble sort algorithm because at primary has higher priority. So at primary has higher priority over the name of the variable. Quick sort will be used only if there is no primary. So if I run this, there is no primary present. So then 
name would be used and we are using the quick sort algorithm to do the sorting. In this step, we tried to play around with the add primary annotation and auto wiring by using the name. Until the next step, bye-bye.